Let's take a look at our lesson, Addition Input Output Tables, with sums up to 20. It says, complete the table. Rule, add one. So I can see that we are adding one to this first number. So our number on the in side of our table will be our starting number, and then we will add one, and the number across from it will be the result. So one, and then we add one, and that turns into two. 3, add 1, and that turns into 4. So I'm going to show you what I think of when I see this. I think of a machine. And I think if we had a machine, and this machine took in numbers and spit numbers out, we could give it a number, in this case 1, and we could give it a rule. We could say add 1, and then the machine would take the number in, it would change it and it would spit it out as a different number. So we put in the number one, we told it to add one, and it came out as number two, as seen here. So if we did that with number three, if we gave it number three, told it to add one, it would spit it out as four. If we put five in, it would come out as six, because every time we're just adding one, it is the next number up. If we put in six, it would come out as seven. So here we are adding one each time. Now our rule is to add five. So if we had our machine and every time we told it add five, what if we give it the number zero and we say add five to that? It would take the number zero in, it would change it and it would spit it out as a different number what would it spit it out as? Zero plus five. Yeah, five. So it takes in zero, does something to the number, and then spits it back out. In this case, it added five. So zero, five. Three, all right, so if we put three in, and then we added five, so we could just do three plus five, so I know five, six, seven, eight. So eight would be this one. We know that zero was five, three is eight. What about four? If we put four in and then we add five. Well, I know three plus five was eight. So four plus five is one more than that, which is nine. And then five plus five is 10. Now we have add two. So I know we put in this number, we add two, and it comes out as a different number. So one plus two would just be one more than two, which is three. Two plus two, ooh, that's one of my doubles. Two plus two, let's count that. One, two, three, four. Yes, two plus two is four. Now if I have five and I add two more, five, six, seven. Now we have six and we add two more and that is eight. Great job. All right, now our rule is to add two again. So I could draw two dots and just count on every time from the number that goes in. So here I have two, so I can say three, four. Here we have five, so I can say six, seven. Here we have seven, so I can say eight, nine. They already wrote nine for us. Here we have eight, so we would say nine, 10. Great job. Okay, we are adding two again. Let's draw those two dots again and use those to count on. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight eight, nine, 10. All right, this time we are adding three. I can use that same method. I can draw three dots. I can say zero, one, two, three. Oh, they wrote that for us. Two, three, four, five. Five, 
six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, nine. Great work. Now our table shows in a number, add one, and then it'll come out as a different number. So two plus one, it's one more than two. What's the number after two? Yes, three. So we have two, three, and then three, four, and then four, yeah, five. And then it jumps to seven. So notice these won't always be in order. See how this is three, four, five. This one is not six because this number is larger. So we need to add one to seven. Seven plus one is eight. Great job. Don't let those funny patterns trick you. All right, next rule is to add four. I will draw four dots to help me count on. Three, four, five, six, seven. I have four, five, six, seven, eight. Now here I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here they had six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Now our rule is to add one. So it is the next number. So zero, one, two, three, three, four, five, six. See how we just counted up by one? Because we are only adding one every time. Now we have the rule add three. Three plus three is six. That's one of our doubles. Let's draw some dots to double check all these. Five, six, seven, eight. Then I have six, seven, eight, nine. And then I have seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we counted on or added three to each of these numbers. You did such a great job today.